Um, how natural was the chemistry between you? I would, you know, I hope I'm not speaking, but I would say it was pretty natural. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebs you forgot dated when they were younger. You went to your dad and said, can I take your daughter out on a date? Yeah. And your dad was like, honey, it's Timberlake or bust. For this list, we're looking at former celebrity couples whose relationships you might not have known about, might not have remembered, or relationships that just didn't last long enough to make much of an impact. Which celebrity pairing completely slipped your mind? Sound off in the comments below. Number 10. Leighton Meester and Sebastian Stan Gossip Girl had its fair share of high-profile romances on and off set. But this one might surprise even the most obsessed fan. But it seems to me her only problem is having a party all by your lonesome. Except she's not alone. The pair met back while Meester was starring as the manipulative socialite Blair Waldorf, and Stan had a recurring role on the teen drama as Carter Bazin. Hello, beautiful. The co-stars reportedly dated between 2008 and 2010 before calling it quits. What are you doing with this insect? Having the time of my life, thank you very much. Meester would go on to date her now husband, former teen star Adam Brody, while Stan's career really took off when he joined the MCU as Bucky Barnes. Gotta be a rope or something! Just go! Get out of here! No, no, without you! His growing popularity since then, and his decision to keep his private life private, might explain why the couple's on-set romance slipped through the cracks. He can't be any worse than you. I'm the one trying to help you. Number 9. Pink and Joey Fatone The Grammy award-winning pop star and former boy bander can both agree on one thing. They did go out at least once. Everything else about their relationship is up for interpretation. Joey Fatone used to come in my dressing room every day and visit with us. And he was Just, such a sweetheart. He had a bit of a crush, right? Possibly. Pink said Fatone was, quote, in love with her, even asking her father's permission before taking her out, and that all they did was have ice cream. Oh, you did go on the date? We went to friendlies. As a friendly date, not like a date date. Sure. Fatone's version of events is somewhat different. He says he never asked her father for permission, and that he asked her out on a few dates before they ended things. Both are married with children now, and while neither one has any hard feelings, the fact that they can't seem to agree on minor details is probably a good indication that romance was never in the cards. I don't wanna be a fool in this game for two, so I'm leaving you behind. Number 8. Minka Kelly and Donald Faison Though not much is known about the details of their relationship, Faison reportedly got together with Kelly sometime in 2004. All right, everyone, pay attention, because my spleen is right here. Kelly was an up-and-coming actress, just breaking into the business, while Faison was a household name due to his starring role in the medical sitcom Scrubs. The two dated for about a year. That's why I went alone, so that you wouldn't risk a relapse. Oh, I see. So you were doing me a favor sneaking out behind my back like that. Since then, Kelly has made a name for herself on shows like Friday Night Lights and Titans. Well, I thought I heard you weren't going on. Well, you heard wrong. Send me in. She's been romantically linked to other A-listers, namely Chris Evans and Derek Jeter. Faison would go on to finish out his run as the lovable Dr. Turk in 2010 and marry his second wife two years later. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but he's got it. Number 7. Jennifer Love Hewitt and Will Friedle. Depending on the source, Hewitt and Friedle began dating in either 1996 or 1997. This is your big move. But it's undeniable that both were household names at the time. Eric Matthews, and you are? Jennifer Love Pfefferman. Both actors were at the height of their fame in the 90s, with Friedle starring as Eric Matthews on Boy Meets World and Hewitt enjoying roles on Party of Five and I Know What You Did Last Summer. Don't you see? He's got us now. Okay, this is exactly what he wants. The couple even appeared as an on-screen item on two separate occasions, once on Boy Meets World and once in the 1997 movie Trojan War. It could be the, the worst day ever. But seeing you... Okay. The relationship may not have stuck in the public's mind, but both performers are still remembered fondly as two of the biggest teen stars of the 1990s. Huh? That was pretty good, huh? Number 6. Ryan Reynolds and Kristen Johnston 
Besides Alanis Morissette and Scarlett Johansson, Ryan Reynolds had another famous ex long before he married Blake Lively. How would you describe your relationship in three words? With Ryan Reynolds? When asked about her short-lived romance with Reynolds, Third Rock from the Sun star, Kristen Johnston, admitted it was so long ago she'd actually forgotten about it. But Johnston wasn't being shady toward her old flame. She had nothing but nice things to say about the Deadpool star. It was so long ago I forgot, but literally so nice, great guy. Lovely. The two were seen together publicly after appearing at the 1999 premiere of The Green Mile, but apparently the relationship didn't last long. If only more Hollywood couples had such nice things to say after breaking up. Where have you been? I thought we had a good thing going. Oh, Don, we did. I just, I, I needed to take a little time, you know, to, to think things over. I just went on one of those spontaneous trips. Number five, David Gallagher and Megan Fox. Megan Fox's personal life has been tabloid fodder for years, but her first high-profile relationship came before her big break. It's Saturday. So? The day mom and dad sleep late. In 2004, Fox and Seventh Heaven actor David Gallagher were photographed together at the premiere of Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, one of Fox's first movies. Even though she's not the female lead, it's a part with depth and true contemporary resonance. And it's the one that I wanted. Good. The couple reportedly dated for around a year before breaking up. Soon after, Fox started her longtime romance with 90210 star Brian Austin Green and enjoyed a breakthrough performance in the first Transformers movie. Her romance with Gallagher seems to have been lost in the endless media spotlight that followed. And now we're underneath the moon and the stars and the three most beautiful pyramids on the planet, and you still can't even tell me that you love them. What? Wait. Why do boys always change the subject? Number four, Rashida Jones and Tobey Maguire. Before he was slinging webs and fighting crime in the Spider-Man trilogy, Tobey Maguire was on the edge of superstardom in the late 1990s. He'd also been dating Rashida Jones since 1997. Let's get some lunch some evening. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll come by and have some of your Moondance coffee someday. The future Parks and Rec star was just starting her career and would soon score a regular spot on Boston Public. Instead of getting swept up in my boyfriend's personalities, I'm dating myself and trying new things. So every time I go out to eat, I order one thing that's typical me and then something that I would never order. The relationship was allegedly serious, with some reports even suggesting the two were engaged at one point. Rashida and Toby broke up in 2000 after three years together. Maybe his iconic dance moves were just too much to handle. Get out of this office. Get out of my life. Number three, Drew Barrymore and Corey Feldman. Few Hollywood stars grew up as fast as Drew Barrymore and Corey Feldman. We're dedicated to a higher purpose. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. Both have been open about their substance addictions during their turbulent early careers. Less discussed, though, is their short-lived relationship in the late 80s when Barrymore was 14 and Feldman was 18. They reportedly started dating after appearing on an addiction-related episode of CBS School Break Special in 1989. They were together only for a few months before ending the relationship. In the chaos of the industry, it seems like Barrymore's subsequent career and Feldman's personal struggles have overshadowed this shared past. I know this is not working. I'm sabotaging. I'm not healthy. I'm not well. But shh, I'm going to fix it. Number two, Sarah Jessica Parker and Robert Downey Jr. Although RDJ's troubled history with various substances isn't a secret, his very serious relationship with Sarah Jessica Parker may not be as well known. It was, it was a really um, adventurous, uh, important eight years of my life. The future stars of Iron Man and Sex and the City were just young actors trying to carve out careers in Hollywood when they met on the set of 1984's Firstborn. It's an accident. You're an accident. You stop Jesus. it. Jesus. What's the matter with you? The two moved in together, beginning an almost eight-year relationship that went sour when Downey Jr.'s dependence on drugs and alcohol became too much for Parker to handle. I mean, I had to learn how to be with somebody who was, you know, um, dealing with addiction. But the two remain on friendly terms, looking back fondly on the time they spent together. I was fortunate in that I never felt that there were 
hard feelings. You know, we right. weren't estranged. We had simply gone on and with our lives. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Taylor Lautner and Lily Collins On-set romance is a recurring theme on this list, but our number one pick didn't even make it to the premiere of their movie. I won't let that happen. Taylor Lautner and Lily Collins met on the set of 2011's Abduction when Taylor was still bearing his soul and his chest in the ultra-successful Twilight Saga. It's not you, it's me, right? The two stars' chemistry was reportedly undeniable during script readings and even throughout the shoot. But it's reported that Lautner pulled the plug on the relationship just a week before Abduction's star-studded premiere. We should get some food. Yeah. I'm starving. Apparently, at the premiere's after party, the two were barely on speaking terms. If this list proves anything, it's that dating your co-stars is not always the way to everlasting love and happiness. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.